Hello everyone, welcome back to a new episode of the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. Uh, last time we left off, we got a really unsettling bucket ending, and I think I'm gonna go for, uh, some more weird bucket endings over there, because I've got the other two normal endings in that area, but I don't have the other two bucket endings in that area, where I take the lift across and it talks about my wife and put me in the weird fake place with a mannequin, and then the one where I jump off the lift as it's going across. I also haven't got the die with All the bucket ending. were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Warmth spread through Stanley's arms. With the bucket in his arms again, he was home. Okay, I think that was a new dialogue there. I think it says something different every single time I pick this shit up. Okay, I think I'm gonna die with bucket. Is dying with bucket... good? But Stanley feared that any path he walked might lead to the separation of himself and the bucket, his dearest friend. So he threw himself to his death that they might die in one another's arms. How Beautiful. deeply touching. Okay, so, another ending. I'm gonna get another bucket ending. Already this was uncomfortable. What? And Stanley decided that as soon as he found a new space he felt safe in, that he would never leave it again in his life. Okay, well that was different. Okay, what do you guys say Stanley about bucket this time? The bucket and smiled. Uh -huh. He'd never be alone again, not truly alone. Not with the bucket around. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly. God, this so weird. The, the relationship with the bucket, man, it's Stanley creepy. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna go on the cargo lift this time. See Good, what happens. Said the bucket. Now ride the lift all the way to the top. There's something up there I need you to do. Stanley did not question why or how this bucket was speaking to him. It should have alarmed him, of course, because buckets can't talk. But Stanley chose not to think about this obvious fact. He was firmly convinced that the bucket had spoken to him, and he unthinkingly did whatever the bucket asked. The bucket knows all. You do not question the bucket. So is this the top? I guess I can't go up any higher. It's not gonna... okay. In yeah, here, said the bucket. Go into this dark room over here. Stanley once again obeyed blindly. Wait, that- this room isn't dark, this room's lit. Oh, you mean this dark room. Okay, sure. Now pick up the phone, said the bucket. Pick up the phone, and it will take us back home, where we can go about life together. Uh-huh. God, is this gonna be the same thing except with the bucket? I think it is. This is the sad story of a man named Stanley and his bucket. Once upon a time, I gave Stanley a bucket because I thought he was lonely and could use a friend. And then, very distressingly, he began to believe the bucket could speak to him. The freedom ending. <laughs> Wish you were here, Aloha. Adventure awaits! I played the demo. I went to the mind control facility. Cool. I'm here, I'm home, honey! Honey, I'm home! Hello, how are you, schnookums? Hello, Stanley. It's me, your bucket. Press G to take me to work with you. Do I... do I wanna? I guess. The Stanley Parable Reassurance Bucket was merely meant to provide the comforting glow of companionship. It doesn't literally talk and give you orders. Whatever Stanley is hearing the bucket say to him is just in his head. Press in to take me back home with you. It's okay, Bucket. I know narrator's lying. Lately, I've been concerned about him. Wouldn't you be concerned as well? To see him delusional like this, obsessing over an inanimate metal object? I want to say something to him, but I don't know how I can convince him. I don't know if he'll listen to me. Narrator, you don't care about me, Bert. A bucket does. Well, I'll try anyway. Stanley! Can you hear me? Listen to me. It's just a bucket. It can't think. It can't talk. All it will ever truly do for you is effectively transfer a liquid from one location to a different location. That's it. It doesn't do anything else. It doesn't technically have to be a liquid. I could... I could put other objects in there. It's, it's basically just what I carry around everything in. And is also my lover. Don't listen to the loud man. Press Y for us to go back home. Sure. You see... He's not listening. He's still taking orders from the bucket. You know, once upon a time, it was me he took orders from. Me he trusted and listened to. Now no. all he cares about is his awful bucket. This stupid hunk of metal. 
impress you to ignore anyone in your life except for me. It's Will sad. do. I suppose he doesn't need me anymore. Damn right. From now on, he's just going to cling to this bucket, this cold, empty bucket, this sort of shiny bucket. Hmm. Well, I'll give it this. The bucket does have a nice shine to it. You believe I'm real, don't you, Stanley? Press G to go back home. Yes, I suppose on closer inspection that it doesn't quite look like your average hardware store bucket. It's just a little more, um, what am I trying to say? Sexy? Sturdier. More capable of transporting liquid. Like it would be better at moving an amount of water from one room to another. Press P to relive the same day with me, over and over. Oh my god, what am I saying? Better at carrying water from room to room. It's a bucket. It's literally just a bucket. Why do I feel some need to point out the ways in which it's so much more than just a regular bucket? Press R to go home to work. To ho work to home. Okay. Oh no. I'm... I'm having feelings for the bucket. You and me no, both. No, 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 no. What's going on? Why do I want to be with the bucket? Hear what the bucket has to say. Do anything it asks. What's wrong with me? I don't understand. Perhaps, perhaps if I had the bucket, this would be less confusing. Yes. The bucket could tell me what to do in this troublesome situation. The bucket says have a threesome with me and the bucket. That is what the bucket's commands. Look, we got candles and everything. Look, the mood is set. Oh, yeah. Okay, Bucket, I know what you're into. Let's go. Let's get it on. Stanley, give me the bucket. Fuck give you. Give it to me. Give me the bucket, Stanley. I need it. Give it to me now. Give it or I'll... Narrator, stop it. Go back to work, Stanley. Are we done? That was creepy. The bucket endings are fucking creepy, man. <laughs> They're so fucking weird. Oh boy. All of his co-workers were gone. Okay, so nothing new me. here. I'm just gonna grab the bucket Stanley and go get the go other the ending in that area. Good old bucket. Just Stanley and the bucket. Off on another thrilling adventure together. Don't get any ideas. Stanley and he unthinkingly uh -huh. did whatever the bucket asked. No, I did not. Screw you. Bucket and I are going on our own adventures. Okay, it's not actually talking anymore? What is happening to me? What? Uh, no, no, no. Stop. Look there on the wall. You see? There's a sign right there. It says, No buckets past this point. Stanley, how could you think it was okay to bring the bucket here? Unless. What if the problem is that you actually don't know what is a bucket and what isn't a bucket? I suppose that would explain a lot about your behavior up to this point. Which, if that's true, well, my goodness, I think we have to do something about it. This misunderstanding could have dire consequences on the entire rest of the game if not addressed quickly and properly. So much of the impact of the story is dependent on your understanding of what is and isn't a bucket. Please, step in here for a moment. Oh Jesus, that scared me. Okay, please don't scare me. Like that. I, I I felt uncomfy there for a second. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay. 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 All right, let's let's go. Then, Bet the YouTube bitrate loves this. I'm going you through some test scenarios, and you'll tell me whether or not the thing I'm showing you is a bucket. Simply enough, right? This should tell us everything we'll ever need to know about what is or is not a bucket. Okay, let's begin. Is it? Item one. Is this a bucket? No, that's a pail. Correct. It is a hologram of a bucket, not an actual bucket. Oh. See? I knew that. I was just testing you. Uh-huh. Item two. Is this a bucket? No. Correct. It is a 3D printed recreation of a bucket, not an actual bucket. Okay, cool, cool. Good, good, good. Item three. Is this a bucket? Nope, not feeling it. Incorrect. Oh. This is a bucket. 
Damn it, no, I tried. Item four. Is this a bucket? Uh, no. I'm Correct. just saying no to everything. This is a tractor and not a bucket. To be honest, I just sort of put this one in here as a gimme, but I was starting to get concerned that even this might be too much for you. Thank you for not making me look like an idiot. Okay, next one. I wonder if there's something for getting them all correct and all of them wrong. Are these all separate endings? Oh god, I hope not. Probably, though. Is this a bucket? No. Incorrect. This is a bucket. What? Fuck you, that's not a bucket! How many of these are- oh my god. Item six. Is this a bucket? No. Trick question. Both. Gotcha. How? How can it be a bucket but not a bucket? Item- wait, hold on, I can't find the next one. Let me see, it should be around here somewhere. No. Yes, thank you. There's nothing here. Mm -hmm. Of course it isn't a bucket. We both know full well that nothing isn't a bucket. Wait, when I say nothing isn't a bucket, that makes it sound like I'm saying everything is a bucket, which of course is not true. Unless, is that what you think? Answer me straight, Stanley. Are you trying to tell me that you believe everything is a bucket? Yes. You know what? I'm too confused to even sort it out. I've lost all sense of perspective. What is a bucket? What isn't a bucket? Mere moments ago, I could answer these questions with confidence. And yet now I'm somewhat adrift. Do any of us know what a bucket is? Am I a bucket? Yes. Stanley, I can't keep doing this. I'm losing myself, and myself was all I ever had to begin with. I'm afraid the bucket is threatening to tear our relationship apart. What relationship? That. I'm sorry, but I'm going to erase all buckets from the game entirely. Okay, here we go. No, my bucket! What happened? Is everything gone? Yes. Why did everything disappear? Wait, mm -hmm. was everything a bucket? Every single thing in the game was a bucket. Oh my god, I had no idea. How could... Except me. I'm not a bucket after all. And you, Stanley, you're still here. You're not a bucket either. Oh, this is wonderful news. We're not buckets. Yes, I actually feel much more at ease right now. It's delightful to get some clarity on that issue, but it doesn't change the fact that we haven't got a game. So, tell you what, I'll reset everything and we'll put back all of the buckets, okay? And we'll know that it's all a bucket. But if you run into anyone else, maybe don't mention that. Who knows what that information might do to a person? All right, here we go. Horrible things, really. Okay, now... Okay, that was another bucket ending. I know there's more bucket endings I can do, but I'm like, I want to finish the regular endings off. But I'm like, now I don't know where the regular endings are anymore. Mm. I do not know where the regular... Where, where the other regular endings I need to do are. R. This is where the, uh, it's getting a bit confusing for me. If only there was, like, a list of the endings, it'd be like, you don't have an ending down this path, kind of like how, um, uh, the Henry Stickman collection does it. That was very, very helpful. I could just look at where I didn't have the ending and go there. I, I guess I'm just gonna try to find something new. I'm trying to think of where I haven't been. So I, I did all the three in the warehouse. I've done the go the proper way ending. There's a split in that path. Okay, I think there's one down the the warehouse route. Well, well, the door before it. I think there's one there that I have not done without bucket. This is makes no All fucking sense to someone that doesn't play this. Look. Okay, here we go. Somewhere both red and blue, a private but smelly place for an important person. I don't remember where the red and blue is, and I don't know what private but smelly place for an important person is. I thought that's where all the tapes for the narrator were, but I don't think so, actually. And this mentioned some things, too. Uh, yeah, I don't know. <gasps> There's a toilet! 
Oh, the, the smelly place. Okay, I just came in here because I was like, oh, I haven't been in here in a minute. Maybe something's changed. And yeah, it's smelly. You're getting close now, Stanley. You've nearly gotten all of the Figler and Marines. Very soon, you'll collect the last one. And then the first number will equal the second number. And that will be it. We'll be different people by then. Different in the sense that we used to have none of them. And now we have them all. You can't go back to when you had no Figler and Marines. None of us can. Yeah, no, we can't go back. Once, we, once we've got them all, that's it. We're done. Alright, I still can't go in here. Oh, wait, no, this is a place I could go. Oh, yeah, oh well, no, no, but I can't use the elevator, right? Or I can use the elevator? Oh, God, okay, this is an entirely other path. Jesus Christ. Um... Okay, I guess let's go. I don't think I've ever done this before. Let's go up? Oh god, this is another break in the path. Funky. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh-huh. Now this is some good music here. Yeah. Elevator ride's a little bit long. What, if, what the fuck are we in? The Shinra Tower? Possibly. Like, all 70-something floors that the Shinra Tower has. Okay, when can I get out? When can I get off of Mr. Elevator's wild ride? Because this has been going on a little bit longer than I'm comfortable with. Hello? Can I stop? Uh... Should I press the button again? Okay, there we go. There we go, I made it speed up. Oh, we're back here? I pressed up. Okay, well fine, let's go down then. Okay, weird. Yeah, let's go down. It was actually moving when I pressed up, though. Wait, is this thing not moving at all? Does it just fucking vibrate, but it doesn't go anywhere? Uh-uh. It doesn't go any- It just sits there and vibrates with me in it, so I look like a stupid jackass. Okay, fine. Screw you too, game. Screw you too. Okay, I think we all know the drill by now. Blah blah blah. Dark secrets. Oh, hey, this is Stanley different. Yeah, buttons. cool. Oh, hey, look, it's a new passageway. Kill surprise. Thank you, thank you. That was very nice that you skipped that for me. I uh, appreciate that, narrator. Uh, now I just need to find the last thingy I don't have. Um, I think going down here is going to lead me to something I've already done. Okay, so I haven't done the bucket ending for either of these, but I have done both of these for the normal ending. I think I'm just going to begin the game again. Um, see if we can find a different path. So I've done everything down that path on the normal route. I think I've done everything on the other path too, right? I don't know, let me check. It was okay. Oh, you said it was okay, that's different. Yeah, I've noticed I thought you were saying some slightly different things when I walked into this each time. This time you just said it was okay. Weird. Okay, so I took the lift Stanley and that just led to the con- the office this brightly lit. Was it a sign of something? He hoped it was. He hoped very much that it was. God, it's th th things change so much. I'm always like, okay, there's going to be nothing new, and then there's something new. Um, so I went down the lift uh, on accident, and that just leads to the confusion ending, which I have already done. So I left that? What, brightly lit. What does this mean? You're not, you didn't even say anything in here. Normally you say something in here. What is going on? Why, why are you not talking, narrator? When Stanley came to a set okay, of two weird. doors, he entered the door on his left. No, I didn't. This was okay. not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted okay. to stop the employee lounge. Maybe the employee's lounge will be different. It. it was okay. Okay, no, you just don't care about the employee lounge anymore. Okay, we're gonna go this other but way this time. To get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Okay, I think we're gonna go straight because I don't think I've and done so he this. Through the maintenance section. Walked straight ahead to the opposite door and got back on track. Yeah. Okay. Oh, but this just leads here. 
Oh shit, that's not actually another path. This just just this just puts me back on this path. Okay, yeah, I thought this was a different area completely. Okay, well what was this? Somewhere both red and blue. I don't remember where I saw the red and blue door. Damn it. I don't remember which path that was. Alright, nothing came out of that. All of his co-workers were gone. Okay. What could it mean? Whoa. Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Wait, it's going left now. I've always went right. What the hell? Okay, before you said it was brightly lit. Now now the hallways are changing? I'm not crazy, right? I don't think I'm crazy. <laughs> Tell me I'm not crazy. Please. Was I on that side before? Have I switched sides? What is going on here? Stop it. I don't like it. Beautiful. Here we go, red and blue. Let me prove it. Let me there, prove it is. That I'm there it is. There it is. Boom. The last Stiggly Wiggly. Savor this moment, Stanley. This is a real accomplishment. This is doing something just for the sake of doing it. Where so many people expect to be rewarded for the most trivial achievements, you've insisted that a job well done is its own reward. I would tell you that I'm proud of you for collecting them all, but that would be like a reward, and we can't have that. So, instead I'll just say, it's done. We're all done here. And now we can go to whatever the hell you were doing before you hunted for figurines. Well, thank you. Cool. So I got them. That was down uh, when we when we fall off the lift onto that like scaffolding and go off the weird path and we interrupt the narrator. Okay, cool, cool. So we can begin the game again. Now the question becomes, like I said, now I'm hitting the point where I don't know where the new endings are. I know where some bucket ones are. So maybe I do those, but I'm like, I, I, I don't know which other ones I'm missing. There's probably some really obscure ones that I'm missing, or there's just a break or branch in the path that I have forgotten about. Um, but I've went a couple of paths that I still had questions about. I think we're just going to grab the bucket again. Okay, yeah. Okay. Okay, so it did change last time. You're not... I'm not crazy. I'm not crazy! Stanley, I'm sorry, but I have to put a pause on things. It's just... It's those figurines. Those figlers. I haven't stopped thinking about them since you nabbed every last one. Wasn't it just the most intrinsically fulfilling moment of your entire life? Yep. Didn't it fill you to the brim with inner richness? Yes, I know we're supposed to be telling a story, but won't you please indulge me with one more trip back to the memory zone? I would love nothing more than to revisit the figurines just one more time. Okay, so we're going back to the memory zone. Okay, different ending because I got all the figurines. Cool. Cool. Now remembering when Stanley found the collectibles. I am so good at video games. It's kind of... It's kind of insane. Alright, this is gonna be memories all about the, 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 the collectibles, right? Okay, one of the things is gone. I, I thought there used to be one here. Yeah, it says The Last of Us. Category story. Can't go through there. Um, I can't go in here. The zone, the sweet zone. Can't go in there. Alright, so I guess we're just heading back down here. <sighs> Here's where it all began. The first collectible. Back then, we had no idea of how many of them we'd find. Sure, it said six right there on the screen, but how could we know for certain? We were so innocent. We'll never be like that again, Stanley. But isn't that a seventh one right there? There's more. There's more! Are you gonna talk about this? There's more! There's seven! Hey! Comment on this! I got above the number! That, sh that definitely deserves a pat on the back. Right? One of the nine hells. And What's going here on here? Was the second Stanlerine. Oh god. You found this one all on your own just by poking around behind the boss's office. You did that, Stanley. I'll be honest. Back then I had no faith in you to find any of them, let alone six. But you continue to surprise me in all sorts of mundane, unremarkable ways. You're welcome. Now I've got eight. Get a hype. Understairs warehouse. Okay, yeah. let's do a little quiz. Which of these rooms was the room you found your third mini stand? Can you remember? Third. 
Let's see, so we found that one. We found that one. I think I went to the stairs next, right? I'm pretty sure I went stairs next. I think I went stairs next. I think I, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, that's exactly right. Uh huh. Damn right it is. Under the stairs, it was the third one. You picked it up, and then after that, you had three of them. I'm glad these moments are so crystal clear in your memory, but I shouldn't be surprised. After all, science tells us that it's impossible to forget your third time doing anything. Is that true? Iteration. Okay, where to now? So just up the stairs? I can't believe we're this little trip down memory lane we're having right here. The thing I just did earlier in the video. Cool. Yay. Let's see. What came next? Oh yes, we found a figly in this pink room. Oh well, I can't actually what? say I remember being in this room. Hell but no. it's here in the memory zone, so it must have happened. No, your memory's messed up. No, we didn't- I didn't find it instead of a giant- in front of a giant apple. Ten. Wait, who's the whispering? I don't like that. There's whispering. Uh-uh. Hate it. Despise it, actually. None of that, please. Okay, there's a place over there. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, here's the ba Okay, we're back at the bathroom. This was a fifth mini stand, and this one was really something special. It was in the boss's bathroom. I remember it so clearly. In fact, because this one is particularly special to me, I made a little video to commemorate the occasion. Enjoy. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> oh my god! It's, it's like a time machine back to early YouTube. Holy shit, no! No! <laughs> Clip art! Oh my god. Awful. Away. Away! Oh my god! <laughs> Oh my god, this takes me back to like early 2000s YouTube, holy back, shit. I spent a lot of time making that video, but it was eight minutes I wouldn't have spent on anything else. <sighs> well, you know I'm collecting it. My god, the perfect. Honestly, amazing. Amazing, that was... <laughs> that shitty old editing. Oh my god, and <laughs> the fucking music. Timeless. Timeless, truly. Okay. Yeah, we're back over here. And then, Stanley, then we came to the last collectible, the final figurine, right here by the red and blue doors. This memory is the most distinct and clear in my mind, perhaps because it was the one that happened more recently than all the others. Who can truly say how the mind works? All I know is that this is the moment where you picked up a figly and I thought to myself, yes, that's all of them. They're all collected. It was a moment unlike any other. Except for the other moments picking up figurines, which it was exactly like. I just want to stare in my figurine's eyes. That's why I was doing that. Okay, so wait, where are we going now? What the hell are we doing now? Oh, these both lead to the same place. Okay, cool. What is this, TV? You are in the present. Am I? And then, there was no more. Because we've caught up to the present moment. Nothing left to do but move onward into the future. Goodbye, memory zone. Oh, but I wanted to make the, the TV go infinitely. Okay, uh, cool. No, 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 I'm not done. I'm not ready to move on. Okay. Stop the loading screen. Isn't there some way we can stay here, keep enjoying these figurines? Let's just go backwards. We'll do the memory zone again from the opposite direction. See how that feels. But don't you care about the bucket? Are you cheating on the bucket? Are you cheating on the bucket with figurines? That looks trippy. I guess you're cheating on the bucket with figurines. I'm gonna have to tell Bucket Chan about this, and Bucket Chan is not going to be very happy. With you. Okay, yes. The room with the red and blue door. God, I Jesus Christ. This. I must say, of all the figurines we looked at in our initial tour of the memory zone, this one is the most distinct and clear in my mind. Let's keep going. I want more. God, I'm gonna get so many of these shits. I can't believe you're gonna make me walk back through it all again. I kinda hate you. I wish I could bludgeon you to death with one of these. If I'm going to be honest. 
The Stan Lorene or the, the, the latrine, whatever the fuck you called it. And here's where I made that video. Don't you remember the video we watched? <laughs> of course you're gonna make me fucking watch it again. Yes, I love that video. Oh boy. This game is absurd. This game is absurd. This game is absurd. I would like to thank the two people on Discord that- what- what the hell? Where am I? Am I supposed to be here? I would like to thank the two people on Discord that basically pushed me into, uh, or convinced me, not pushed me into, to play this. Because I- I, I was gonna play it and then didn't, and they were like, you should play it, and now I've played it. I don't think I'm supposed to be back here. That looks like some glitchy textures. Uh, yeah. Okay, that was interesting. I- I don't think that's a secret or anything. I think, uh, that's just not intended. Stanley. Still no memory of this one. Good room, though. A solid room. Why whispers? What is that? I don't like it. I don't trust the apple. If I could lean, I would. I don't trust that thing as far as I can throw it. These really were a treat to hunt down. You know, if there had been any kind of reward for finding all of these, it really would have neutered the intrinsic joy of collecting them. I'm very glad we resisted the temptation. Next one. No, I gotta get them all. Gotta get them all. Gotta get 18. Gotta do it. Uh, okay, so wait, 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 we need to- okay, we need to go get this one and then go to warehouse, right? This was our second figly. Don't you remember? Yes, I remember it too. Maybe I should have went in there. The past is truly a wonderful thing. Why does anyone ever choose to leave it? Keep going. I should have- I should have went the other way because now it's- now, now it's closed off. I was gonna try to go in the- in the warehouse this time and see what happened. Uh, but I didn't. I should have. I should have. This uh -huh. is it. The very first one we found in the exhibit where I introduced you to the figlerines. Oh, I want more memories, Stanley. I want to keep going. What else is there? What came before this? Uh, we walked into the memory zone because you asked me to walk into the memory zone to talk about the- to, to, to go look at the figurines and look back on our adventures. Then we went back into our adventures and then you had me go back over our adventures again to look at the figurines some more and it was a... Pretty painful process that just kept going on and on and on and on and on. Oh, nothing's happening. Um. Uh, yeah, because we came through that door, right? But, uh. Now I cannot. Um. Wait. Oh my god, are you just making me. Oh, wait. Oh, whoa, I got flipped. Okay, no, that was me being stupid. I got flipped turned upside down. I'm sorry. Yeah, there we go. Can you find them all? Can you find them? Can you find them? Collect them all! Oh my god, we came all the way back over here to when we first got introduced to them! <laughs> my god. No way. Okay, yeah, this isn't even the full museum Look, it's the terrible er, new thing. content that we were originally sold on. I remember hating it back then, but time does put a rosy filter on everything. In fact, I dare say I'm actually quite fond of it now. Look how much fun the past is. I want more. More memories. Are we gonna go back to the hole? Where's the hole? I'll get back into the infinite hole. That music it had was kind of dope. That was a neat area. Oh yes, the two doors. Who could have forgotten that? A classic memory, this one. Oh God, kill me. Here we go. We're back. It skipped a little bit. Everything else. There was your office. Is there anything else? Was there something that came before your office? I booted the game There's up on Steam. I feel like I can remember. I can remember. I can remember. Yes, I'm remembering something now. I remember before this whole story got started. Back then, I was, I was different. I used to make big decisions. I was passionate. I was skeptical. I weighed each decision with profound thoughtfulness. And then somewhere along the way, I stopped making decisions. I became lazy and I came up with, well, came up with a character named Stanley to do my thinking for me. He would make the decisions. He would decide which way to go. I would cheer him on as he collected figurines for no reason. Why did I invent Stanley? Was I lonely? 
Yes, perhaps that's it. Perhaps I needed to imagine I had companionship. And Stanley really did make for a wonderful companion, even if he was a fiction. But uh, I suppose it's grown old. I, I want to think for myself again. I want to go back to how it used to be. Yes, I can be on my own again. I can do it. I'll be stronger this time. I'll take care of myself. I don't need Stanley anymore. Oh, but he truly was so much fun to play with. You know what? Since we're in the memory zone, how about one more good memory? Let's go back just once and give Stanley one more run of the office and then I'll retire him for good. I did enjoy telling his story so very much. Okay, here we go. This is the story of a man named Stanley. Oh, sort of cute, sort of cute. And yeah, we get to continue the game because of course we do. But yeah, that was sort of adorable. Narrator created us because he was lonely. All of his co-workers were gone. What All right, I guess I'm going to Stanley grab Bucket. To to the meeting room. Where are we going today? The Bucket asked. Stanley just smiled. Anywhere they went together would be perfectly fine with him. Okay, new bucket dialogue. Cool. Stanley clutched the bucket. Have I ever went into the broom closet with the bucket? Oh, Stanley. Can you feel it? The broom closet. It wants the bucket. You huh? can feel that, can't you? The aura of jealousy? It's as clear as day. This broom closet believes it deserves the bucket. I can really feel it now. It's a bucket. It belongs in a broom closet. That's what the broom closet is trying to say here. It's Fight me. It's to go with the other cleaning supplies. Good for you, Stanley. Don't give him. Don't hand over the bucket. I know how hard it must be, given the pressure that the broom closet is putting on your shoulders right now, but you have to be strong. This is your bucket. This is your companion and lifelong friend. You can't hand it over. Oh, no. We're getting into name-calling now, it seems. Is this how low the broom closet has sunk that it has to resort to this stream of petty insults simply in order to get you to hand over the bucket? Stanley. I never liked this broom closet for a variety of reasons, but even this is worse than I had imagined. And wait, now the broom closet has the gall to imply that you and the bucket are not truly deep and lasting friends? That your relationship is purely superficial and convenient? That your life is so banal and meaningless that you'd feel the same sort of kinship towards any inanimate object which happened to lay in your path in an even partially enticing manner? Well, I'd never. Go on, Stanley. Lay into it. Really tell the broom closet off for its demeaning comments. Expand on the wide variety of experiences you and the bucket have shared together. Go through each of them point by point. Share your journal entries detailing the rich emotional landscape of your feelings for the bucket as they have changed and evolved over the years. Let him have it. There are so many instances that I have shared with this bucket when I refuse to put it into the bucket destroyer, even though you were telling me to put it in the bucket okay, destroyer. I've got you something which I think will help settle this debate once and for all. I was talking. There, there we go. Now it's settled. No more debate. No more discussion. Take a hike, broom closet, with all yeah. your meandering philosophical diatribes about the nature of cleaning supplies and their relationship to broom closets in the natural order of things. Yeah, that's right. Go away. I have many memories with this bucket. We sh we've right. loved. I've got a second sticker back here, and I'm going to slap it on as well because I think it's appropriate. You see, mm. I feel that it works because the sticker is also a bucket. That way, if you're ever unsure whether the thing you're holding is a bucket or not, you can look down at this sticker and say to yourself, "Ah, it's a bucket." There really is a wide variety of applications for this sticker. Yes, there is. It's a fantastic sticker, really. Are we done? You know what? I could take the name-calling and the dismissal of your kinship with the bucket, but now the broom closet is just giving us a silent treatment. And to be honest, I'm sick of the pettiness on display. You can stay here all you like, but I've had it with this impetulant room of cleaning supplies. Easily the most childish such room I've ever been in. I'll see you outside, and we can get on with the story about you and your bucket. You will not see me outside. I will live here with the bucket. 
And we will- we will defend our honor against the cleaning room. Didn't I die if I stayed in here long enough with the butt with, like, my, just myself before? Do I have to wait a little bit? I might wait a little bit just to make sure nothing happens. I don't know... I don't know. I'll give it a few minutes, I guess. And see if anything happens if I stand in here. Cause yeah, didn't I die before? Like, didn't the narrator go like, Oh, and you stayed in the closet and died with your bucket. Uh, died by yourself. I'm sorry, I'm so obsessed with the bucket. Okay, I sat in here for a minute and nothing happened, but maybe I get to keep the stickers. That'd be neat, huh? Coming to a staircase, Stanley and the bucket walked upstairs to the boss's office. Nope, I go downstairs to the red room. Mm-hmm. Yeah, what's down here with the bucket? But Stanley just couldn't do it. He considered the possibility of facing his boss, admitting he had left his post during work hours. He might be fine for that. And in such a competitive economy, why had he taken that risk? Is this All different? He believed everyone had vanished. This might be the same, even with crazy. Bucket. And then, something occurred to Stanley. Maybe, he thought to himself, maybe I am crazy. He looked down at the Bucket. Okay, and there we go. Here, here's this. crazy? He asked the Bucket. The Bucket returned his gaze, but said nothing at all. That's strange, Stanley thought. Usually the bucket is a source of guidance and wisdom for me in difficult times such as these. He held the bucket close, yet felt none of its familiar reassurance and comfort. And that's when Stanley realized, this isn't my bucket. It's just a normal, everyday bucket. Someone else's bucket, perhaps. How did I end up with someone else's bucket? This is all terribly wrong. Surely no good would come from this. No. Who knows what sorts of bizarre hallucinations Stanley might experience without the psychologically grounding presence of his bucket. And indeed, now he noticed that the rooms were repeating, which was, of course, very odd. And now he felt himself floating off the ground. Oh, gracious. He exclaimed. Without my bucket, I've gone truly mad. Where is it? I must find it. Far off in the distance now, he heard it calling to him. Stanley! Stanley, it's me! The bucket! Could it truly be? He rushed forward from room to room, passing by one bucket after the next. <gasps> None of them were his. None of them were his special bucket. Come to me, Stanley! Find me! He had to find the bucket. He had to return to his old friend. It was the only way to truly restore his sanity. And then suddenly, he froze dead in his tracks. He knew where the voice of the bucket had been coming from. The real bucket was inside of him all along. <gasps> it was incredibly painful. Stanley doubled over in agony and blacked out. Oh no! The bucket was inside of this all is of a us. Story of a woman named Mariella. Wait, what? We're back to this Mariella again? Mariella woke up on a day like any other. She arose, got dressed, picked up her bucket of comfort and security, and walked to her place of work. Oh my god, it's this but again. This Except she has a bucket! Day, her walk was interrupted by the body of a man who had stumbled through town, talking and screaming to himself, and then collapsed dead on the sidewalk. Right away, she knew what the problem was. This man had no bucket. Of course he'd gone mad, ranting and raving about a narrator describing all of his actions and how everything is predetermined and free will is an illusion and it's all just a video game. It could all have been prevented if only he'd taken his bucket with him. Perhaps he didn't even realize he'd forgotten his bucket at home in the first place. How cruel the world can be, Mariella thought, and she hugged her own bucket even tighter. But of course, she had no time for this. There were a myriad of confusing problems she would soon have to confront at work, for which her bucket would provide absolute guidance and total clarity on everything. Heck yes, she thought to herself, my life kicks ass. And she backflipped all the way to work. Okay. Weird, but okay. Well. Wait, why is the bucket here now? Wait, what? what? Now the bucket's here? Why are you- A good bucket. A strong bucket. A humble bucket. A committed bucket. A bucket of culture and distinction. Okay, so now- now that I've got the- the stickers, maybe it's moved in front of my office so it's easier to pick up. Stanley clutched oh, the we just skipped. his chest and entered the door on his left. Okay, we just- we just skip rooms now. I don't even have to do that anymore. I've upgraded. 
Okay, cool. I'm down with that. Down, coming to a staircase, okay, this should be new. Bucket walked upstairs to the boss's office. This should be new. I've never been to the boss's, boss's office with the bucket. Bathroom with bucket? Got the feeling money's for stealing, but not yours, of course. Say that's a lovely purse. Yeah. Okay, nothing to do in, uh, in bathroom. Elevator with bucket? Elevator with bucket. Maybe me and ele maybe me and Bucket can do some stuff together on elevator. Maybe. Otherwise, I'm just gonna go for like the mind control ending or something. Okay, I don't think this is doing anything. All right, I'm down. Let me out. Let me out. Let me go. All right, nothing. Cool. Cool. All right, let's go in here and do this. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Crushed by the weight of this revelation, Stanley may have broken down into an emotional dumpster fire if not for the soothing presence of the bucket. Even now, in his darkest of hours, did the bucket's warmth and guiding light pierce the dark clouds of confusion and chaos. It would be with him always. The bucket would. And he knew it. The two of them were inseparable. At this point, Stanley was so absorbed in the tender spiritual connection he shared with the bucket that he didn't notice the keypad behind the boss's desk. Nor in his bliss of simply being near the bucket did he have any notion that the pin number for the keypad was 2845. Uh-huh. Well, 2845, huh? I knew that. Stanley guessed the correct code by sheer luck. Was it that the bucket knew all along? Was mm -hmm. the bucket guiding him? Yes, this is certainly the most logical explanation. All right, down we go. Gotta do more bucket. Maybe I should just finish off this last bucket one too. And then next time maybe we can look for some endings that I possibly missed. The elevator raced downward plummeting towards an unknown fate. It would be all Stanley could do to keep himself together, if not for the bucket. Soothing him, comforting him, reassuring that in this darkest moment of uncertainty, he would be all right. The bucket is here for you, Stanley. Everything will be fine. Yep, we got Bucket Chan with us, so where Stanley do I go? Stanley the bucket walk straight ahead through the large door that read, Mind Control Facility. We did not. Although this passageway had the word escape written on it, the truth was that at the end of this hall, Stanley and the Bucket would both meet a violent death. Is that so? I don't think that's so. I think Bucket will save me. was not shut. Stanley and the Bucket still had every opportunity to turn around and get back on track. I'll do what I damn well please. Stanley and the Bucket were knowingly walking forward into a very painful death for each of them. I just want to see what it's like. The bucket can stop the crusher. I know it can. Save me, bucket. Be my savior. All right, we're gonna be good. We're gonna be good this time, see? Bucket will save me. As the machine whirred into motion and Stanley and the Bucket inched closer to their demise, Stanley reflected on how meaningless the Bucket's warmth and comfort had turned out to be. Never. To be sure, it puts the mind and the soul at ease to embrace the Bucket, but what use is a sense of ease when you're about to be crushed to death? This is what Stanley thought to himself, and he sort of kicked himself for wasting so much time carrying a Bucket everywhere. Farewell, Stanley. Bye-bye. Okay, are we actually Farewell, dead this time? Stanley, cried the narrator, as Stanley and the bucket were led helplessly into the enormous metal jaws. In a single visceral instant, the bucket's life came to an end, as it was crushed violently to death. No, we are saved. We are saved! Told you the bucket would save me. It was a shame, the death of such a magnificent bucket. It's true that all buckets are radiant in their own way, but this one stood above the rest.
It was a glorious bucket to behold. God, it's so white in here. Welcome to y you to the grand exhibit of the bucket. You are standing at the precipice of knowledge. Much like a bucket itself, the human mind is frequently empty within, a cavernous void, but through use of the exhibit in front of you, the mind becomes full and enriched and substantiated. Knowledge of the bucket and its history is the only true knowledge we really have. Will you take what you learn here out with you into the world? Will you accept with an open mind what may be challenging about the information in this exhibit? Will you change the lives of yourself and your loved ones as a result of this exhibit? Or will you turn a blind eye and continue to live as you were in ignorance and darkness? No. I will go and prophesize the bucket to all. Can you see how arrogant it was for Stanley to take a bucket like this and to claim it for his own? Can you see the hubris that blinded him? Can you see that the bucket is far more noble than Stanley will ever <coughs> be in his short life? Rude. Photograph of 25 buckets, the greatest number of buckets ever captured on camera. The photographer experienced catatonic shock for, shock for several weeks as a result of the euphoria from exposure to this many buckets as once. That's way more than 25. Maybe 25 of them are the uh, only 25 are real buckets. The rest are 3D printed buckets and shit. <gasps> this bucket is depicted as having two handles. Such a design has never been created in real life, having been deemed too dangerous and recklessly experimental. Every year, dozens are put to death just for attempting it. Yeah, how dare they? That's breaking the laws of nature. You're not allowed to do that shit. Not in this house. Inferno Bucket. A replica of the Inferno Bucket, which in the medieval era was so powerfully alluring that it drove dozens of nations to war with one another for control of it. Billions died, and yet in spite of it all, the simple fact remains, no one can control a bucket. Well, I damn well tried. <clears throat> okay, up there's some stuff. What was this for? Distress Bucket. An analogy. Worrying, negative forecasting, negative thinking, lack of reassurance, vulnerability equals size and strength of the bucket, coping strategy equals holes, rest and relaxation, doing something you enjoy, rest and relaxation, stress, the level of water in the bucket, presented without commentary, okay, so we're getting, we're getting deep lore about how the bucket actually works, what its function is, everything, well, we've gotten what its function is, it, it saves my life, okay, that was... That was spooky. spooky. Okay, that's a that's it used being used as a ship bucket, I think. What is that? What is that dropping? Was deer eating out of the bucket? I thought it was a ship bucket, but no, they're like Is that supposed to be a rain cloud or some shit dropping water and they're collecting water in the bucket? I thought it was like weird, some kind of weird giant mosquito. While we know that buckets predate the existence of mankind, we do not know by how long. This cave drawing depicts early man's discovery of the practical uses of the bucket, by which the bucket had already likely been around for several millennia. Notice in these drawings how the bucket is allowing itself to be used, having judged humanity to be worthy of its treasures. I see. I see. Yes, humanity is very lucky to no allow to be allowed. A bucket, and certainly not a bucket as dazzling to behold as this one. It is man who should kneel before the bucket. Okay, we should probably find a bucket to kneel in front of. Uh, not a bucket there. I worship thee. The hanging bucket. This piece symbolizes the necessary relationship between bucket and humanity. However clear our grasp of the bucket may be, there is yet more that is always out of reach. This distance, inevitably, is for our own good. Oh, I can walk on air. Bucket. But there is something we can do. Something we can do together, you and I, that will right this terrible wrong. Let Stanley die. Let him be crushed by the machine. Don't reset the game. Don't give him another opportunity to run off with another beautiful bucket. We can save the world's buckets from their treatment as tools and implements if only we let Stanley die together. The bucket shall take its place as ruler, as leader, as commander of a new world, a new vision. I graciously sacrifice myself so that the bucket can be freed. This game is fucking weird, man. This is a very, 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 very weird game. I know, a real shocker to anyone that's managed to watch this far. But this game is weird. 
Okay, so we have one more bucket ending to do next time that I know of, and I think I've done all of the regular endings that I know of. Um, next time I might have to look into getting some help online for other endings or something, because I'm kind of stumped about anything else. So, yeah, I think we're going to go ahead and end this one off here. I hope you've enjoyed this incredibly trippy and weird episode of Stanley Parable, but they're all like that, so. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.